Hey guys, welcome to episode 36 and as you can see at the moment our dupes are busy just removing all the, the walls around these ladders and the reason for that, let me just quickly pause it if it's unless it's too late yeah it's too late basically we had uh, some areas down here that the decor was so bad that it was in the red and after reducing uh, or removing these walls uh, I figured that it was probably time to remove those because um, there should be nowhere in the base that the dupes should get stressed out at being um, obviously uh, this whole area down here needs some work but uh, we can come to that over time uh, but primarily the main areas where they're going there's going to be no stress hopefully he says anyway so that's what they've been doing um, right we have oh we have got a lot to get on with um, yeah, bear with me a second, I need to zoom out again so I can show you what I'm thinking. So we have uh, sorted out the oxygen production down here. We've got uh, the whole area now opened up so that all the nastiness works its way to the top. So we now just need to sort out the plumbing up here so that we can actually do two things. Uh, one is to uh, collect all the hydrogen that comes through from the top up here. Uh, and get that turned into energy uh, or store it uh, for an emergency use which I kind of like the idea of um, also the probably the temperature in here yeah is, is quite uh, varied um, because of all this uh, end of batteries and power going on over here so we need to start getting this cooled now with having these air um, electrolyzers down here producing the air uh, and the oxygen floating through we still have these guys pumping through as well my thoughts are if we reconnect this solute se uh, section here to one of these hydrogen generators or put it up here it's not a problem um, but then any oxygen that gets pumped out we chuck it through the coolers and then we re-pump it back into the base so we can do that as a temporary measure uh, until we reposition those coolers because we could in theory have those right down here uh, where all this lot is uh, red hot um, and where there's water dripping on top of them to cool them so that we can actually start pumping cold air into these sort of areas so that's kind of what i'm thinking of oh damn me food shortage again right let's just uh get them busy doing that and we can then look at the rest of this lot while they're doing that and getting the food up so we want our pumps to reconnect so let me just pause this for one moment uh, let's have a think so we're gonna get our plumbing let's just start with get it out um, the first thing we want to filter out is going to be the um, hydrogen so I'm actually thinking it's probably best to put a uh, hydrogen system up here uh, out of the way um, because otherwise we're going to be pumping uh, oops what we're we doing we're going to be pumping a load of gas all over the place um, and I'd rather just keep it um, over here so what, how many tiles is that one two three four five so that would be technically another level if I was to check it in which is fine and then we can put in put enough floor for them to walk on because the idea is that we can just put a bridge over here and uh, that'll be fine for this section there gas pipe bridge oops rotate and that's there right power hydrogen just drop them here because I don't know how much hydrogen is going to come out um, I don't think it's going to be that much 
but at least we'll be able to um, split it and see it being split. That's a little, there we go. So that's that. We need power now. Right. Hmm. Yeah, that just brings the need to have heavy what wire up here. I kind of don't like that actually thinking about it. Unless I do a similar. Yeah. Maybe what I'll actually do is. Yeah. Thinking about it. Maybe what I'll do is have these hydrogen generators um, over here. Um, I'll have that connected up to a couple of batteries on its own little circuit and then I don't need to worry about these wires upsetting dupes because I'll just close off the area yeah I'll do that and we'll right, dig out no not eight we'll dig out that so we've got uh, that all sorted. They're gonna work through here, so that's uh, so that's two four. So they're gonna reach up to there. So if they dig that out, hmm. I think maybe what I need to do to start with is cancel the buildings here. Yeah, because they can jump up and down. Perfect. That's fine. Then I can remove the rest of that afterwards. Right, okay, so that's kind of that. Uh, have I got power on that side as well? No, I haven't put power to it. Right, okay, so they're both powered up. So we now just need to reconnect these two pipes because we should be taking a small proportion out. So what's going to be the next thing we take out that really is of any benefit? Um... I think it will be, um, so we've got hydrogen, we've got loads of polluted oxygen. Can we pop our polluted oxygen into here, I wonder? Or shall we just let it drop out? Because we've got this system down here that's chucking it all into the, where is he? There he is. So we've got like uh, two ton of uh, pressure in there. But do we really want to do that at this point? Or do we just want to try and clean that up? I'm thinking that maybe we should try and clean that up. Um, just so that we are not trying to just mask our problems in controlling um, our oxygen. So that will allow us to... Yeah. Right, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna clean it up. Um... I think that's I think that's probably the better option to do. What's going on there? Oops. Let's plant that. Now these are stifled, they're too hot. So we need to sort out some insulation here to protect the base as well. Mind you, we're gonna be removing all this lot anyway. Shortly, he says, thinking that's another long episode. Right, okay, so we are now going to uh, work out how the heck we can um, get this pipe work if I go to the right overview uh, into our network down here um, so I can bring that because I'm, I'm only taking out the hydrogen I kind of don't want the chlorine so the chlorine I'm gonna have to pump over somewhere else um, actually now that's what I was going to do wasn't it yes ah right okay so any chlorine I want to pump down here because I'm going to let these morbs out and they're going to live in this section here. Um, that's what I was going to do, wasn't it? Yeah. Because they can look after all the chlorine gas and can pump it all down here and they can give us off all the polluted oxygen as they want. So, I think I need to just cancel this. And actually all, to be honest. Let's just cancel those. Cancel those, right. Okay, so let's rethink this again. So we're going to have chlorine gas out first. 
and we're going to be dealing with the um, yeah that's the right way we're going to deal with the hydrogen in the second uh, so let's just do that right so chlorine comes off first and we have that down here next we're looking to take out um, the hydrogen so that can then go that way and that leaves us with polluted oxygen and oops what am I doing there we go polluted oxygen and oxygen to then go and recirculate oops what am I doing to go the other direction that'll work better won't it so yeah that'll make more sense and it'll still achieve our goal of having somewhere for the morphs to deal with the, the chlorine right okay that's good uh, I've got a lot of water up here so that's going to be cause me some problems at some point so I think I might, what I might do is also put a uh, mesh tiles up here or gas permeable rather than mesh for the reason that as long as that's installed that water should then go this way because it can't go through that and it can't break them right okay do you know what I'm gonna let that get going and just looking at this I think I may need to look at extending out this area in preparation to capture those mobs so we'll have a go at that too so I want this area to be kind of restrictive on these guys getting out yeah cool that'll do because uh, I could just drop those down hopefully they'll survive yeah hopefully they will Hopefully I won't kill him. Just how I get this guy over here as well. I don't know at this moment in time. Right. And so we now need to look at this maze of power production. I mean, once I get the power down the bottom half of the base, this all can be ripped out. And it should start cooling down the base quite significantly anyway. Um... Hmm. So let's start bringing the pipe work down and we'll work it out as we go along. So this is going to be going into this circuit here. So these two coolers. So the only way really to do that is to bring it on the outside. I'm bringing it down here I could get rid of some of that oxygen right okay I've just heard the pod go off and we're gonna bring in a new du duplicate right okay so we've got irrequitable bowel can't cook bottomless stomach athletic <laughs> Hang on, sorry this does my head in can't cook but he's got plus three cooking well oh, that's just great he's a vomitor minus three two food three fifteen ugly crier uh, right we're gonna have this guy but his name is not stinky it's bill as suggested by david so let's invite bill oops there we go let's invite bill to the gang so make sure the jobs aren't set the, so that I can have problems 
Actually, do you know what? I've not really. Yeah, I don't need to worry about that anymore. Um, the guy, the dupes will just get on and do what they need to do, which is uh, fine by me. Okay, so we've got plenty of seed. We've got loads of calories building up, so I can leave those to it still and get on with this. So, okay, so thinking again about this <sighs> polluted oxygen. I mean, this pressure is quite high at uh, just short of two ton. It's not two ton. It's only three kilos. You went empty. So maybe what I should do is actually get rid of it altogether. I mean, these guys. How much? How much uh, cultivating their filtration material? I've got sixty-five tons of sand, but I'm going to need to purify water as well. So I'm going to deconstruct those. And I tell you, basically we have got a limited quantity of sand. Uh, we can possibly make some uh, using the uh, hot area down the bottom. However, it's a case of I've not seen that done successfully yet, but if you guys have, please let me know in the comments below uh, and I'll go and check that video out so that we can actually uh, um, start uh, benefiting ourselves, if not now, in the future. So, right, so actually I'm going to, I'm going to cheat, I'm going to pop all this nastiness that comes through here, I'm going to pop it into, oops, no, go in there into a uh, holding base for all the polluted oxygen. I think it's a case of I'm going to have to do that to... Uh, I can, actually I can put the pipe bridge over can't I there? Yeah I can. So out... Yeah that was the right way. Um, yeah so I'm going to do that because I want to uh, ensure that we are and I'll just do this um, yeah thank you uh, rotate you can go in there and then you guys can go and join that okay cool that'll work um, yeah so it's primarily so that um, later on uh, I can actually, I mean look look how much water I've got, okay, um, I've seen um, Brothgarsh do some videos on how to cool the water down substantially before putting it into a, um, uh, a tank etc to cool down further, um, but it's a case of actually with that in mind I'm going to knock this, going to knock this off uh, because so uh, where are you? No, not the wire. There we go. Disable. Let's open that up. Yeah, um, because the water coming out of here is 80 plus degrees. It's going in up here. And where is it? Uh, where is it? There. So, contents, liquid contents pipe at 30, uh, 44 degrees. Now, he uses um, two ways of controlling his water, or has shown two ways of cooling the water, should I say. Uh, the first way is to use a, uh, let's go to, um, basically, first of all, run it through toilets and showers. So that water will then be dispersed and turn into polluted water. Temperature will still be high, so that can't really do that in this toilet block. Um, and then use a uh, refinement a water purifier uh, this has got a set temperature um, for ex water exiting it doesn't actually say it there uh, of 40 degrees so then you'll take your water from whatever temperature this is 90 odd degrees chuck it through these things to turn it into polluted water and then turn it uh, into clean water 
using the water purifier and it'll take out the 40 odd degrees of uh, well 50 degrees of uh, temperature uh, which is a humongous amount of cooling in that one um, quick system as it were so I'm thinking that that could be an option to uh, to try and do that so okay so these guys where are they up to 20 there we go we can get rid of the priorities now they can all go back to other jobs perfect right so we want them to come and do these jobs so we're going to get this priority nine top section do that eight actually go and do this side as well anything where I don't need to build a wall or a floor they can do yeah, yeah they can do all this they need power right oh dear me that's uh What's this at? So we need... What wattage do we need for that? Is it 125? No, it's plumbing. No, 120. So, let's just have a look which circuit I can add this to. 960. This is going to be a regular. There we go. Pop onto that one. So that's fine. Nice and easy. Now we are going to need a bridge. Oops. Rotate that there. And let's put that wire in and over there. We also now need to get the water into here. Oops. Nine. We need to get the water into here so that we can actually. Um, create this sort of system again so let's have a look what's going on with water hmm I've got two choices here I can because that's gonna have how much water's in there that's got 10 kilos of water do you know what I'm wondering whether I can deconstruct after I've deconstruct that deconstruct this water this pipe and that water will drop down into here it's just whether it will be sufficient to create this I mean this is only grams of water but as I've had the problem down way way down here on this one we've got 55 kilos of water uh, to do the same effect so what's that why is that tile needing repair No, it's something inside. So what's inside that's needing repair? Is that carbon dioxide? Why is that carbon dioxide breaking? The pipe. Very strange. Very strange. Another little bug, I think, probably. Right, okay, so. Yes. Right, let's see whether this works. Get yeah, that priority nine actually. Let's see whether they will do that for me. So here we're going to be chucking um, polluted oxygen into there. Perfect. That's that's done the trick. I'm going to pop a tile back on here. Do that to nine. Ah. If that's worked, I am absolutely gobsmacked. I am really pleased if that has worked. Let's lock this. So I do not want anyone going in there. Wow. I am absolutely gobsmacked that that might have actually worked. Right, okay, so where are we at? We need 
to open up uh, this area as well. So we just do that to nine would help. So the dupes are busy there, they're busy down over here, so that's fine. Yeah, I want that built so that uh, everything can be contained. Um, do that to seven because I don't really want them touching it right so let's have a look we've got our first pipes go to the right overview so this is going to be taking out our any chlorine so this is going to be a very um, inefficient system for a while right chlorine you can come out on those uh, it'll be very inefficient on the basis that uh, there isn't going to be that much chlorine gas in here um, yeah have I got power going to them yeah I have okay and have I got enough power on the circuit 720 watts is that all it's doing excellent so what I'll do is I'll actually just move that over here and this can run this whole circuit on its own yeah cool alright why are you saying no gas oh yeah no gas intake why not put it in I'll go to the right one no there you absolute noodle Fleming. let's get that in place Perfect. And you know what? I'm going to do that gas intake. Like so. Bit cleaner. Yeah, a lot cleaner. <laughs> right, okay, so they've actually started doing things I didn't necessarily want them to do. Um so I'm gonna have to put in some tiles this lot um, get there can they climb yeah they can climb that so if I do that then we can dig out um, here as well uh, let's take that out yeah so I think he's stuck there now which is a pain until I don't know then get across which is fine just build me some of these walls uh, floors please that's all seven why are you not you're doing stuff I don't want you to do Right, I'll have to keep an eye on that on the next turn to make sure nothing happens. So what have we got here? We have got no clay, polluted oxygen, yeah, let's empty that. Nope. Yeah, come on. There we go. These can be so fiddly to actually get hold of the correct tile or there we go. There we go. And again. There we go. Right now. There we go. There we go. Right, okay, so where are they up to here? can now do that so why aren't they doing those let's do this next so they can dig out that and they get through there so they can dig those out as well and then once that's done they should be able to uh, get up here without any issues in some more walls here. That's fine. So 
So we've only got a little bit over here to do. Oops, that's the one I want. So that pipe's nearly completed. That's good. So we can have this system up and running very shortly, if I look at things, which is great news. So, let's pop another tile in. So they've done all. Come on. Do all that. Come on. Once you've done that, everything else can be done. Actually, everything else can now be done. Yeah. Why aren't you nine? Yeah, you're nine as well. Okay. So everything should be nine. Apart from that section there, because I want them to be able to reach the roof. So here we're going to be taking out, uh, filtering our hydrogen. That's fine. And you're going to be filtering out hydrogen. So polluted oxygen's on its way out, which is good. Follow this process through. So at the moment we're just wasting all this. Um, what's going on here? Ah, oh, they've done all that now. They can't actually get out. That's ridiculous. Let's get that priority nine as well. Come on, get on with some work. Alright, so you're going to need the toilet now, aren't you? Come on. Come on, I don't want the end of the day to have sort of four dupes sat up there. Come on. Come on, you, can, you should be able to reach... No, it's three tiles over. Seriously? Why don't you stop? Oh. Just come and deliver enough for one more tile. Come on. Come on, just deliver enough for that tile so they can get across. There you go. Is that not enough? Made a mess. Right, okay. You can start mopping up your mess. At least you can reach that. Oh dear. Should have kept my eye on it. Right, so is this working now? Perfect. Not water, please. That one. Absolute beauty. So we're now recirculating that uh, uh, oxygen. We're removing all the, the, the nastiness. Um, and we should start seeing a drastic change actually that's not going to show us that is it so um, we should start seeing a drastic change in this uh, the the oxygen levels up here um, and throughout the whole base because it should start allowing these guys to produce more now this is what I need to actually connect up is a pump down here to filter out the carbon dioxide and the chlorine because I want that chlorine that floats its way down here to be part of this network so I've got two options I have can put a see it's dropping into this corner if I put full mesh tiles all the way along then everything will just drop down theoretically it won't gather in a corner like this so let's just open this up also there we go. So I've got food in here that I shouldn't have. So do you know what? I'm going to get that swept. Because um, I think that... Yeah. And I'm going to put in my gas permeable tiles all the way along. Yep. 
yeah. Let's do that. So that's for priority nine as well. All right, so that should deconstruct that. Don't kind of want those there as well. Right, so that should then allow that chlorine to drop down and then we'll get a pump down here, a couple of pumps possibly, to suck anything that's created down here because we've got a high concentration of breathable oxygen down here um, which means it's not floating up through the base as efficiently as I'd like um, yeah keep forgetting about this little hatch yeah that should work so once they've got that sorted um, can I put a down in this corner. Will he fit? No, he won't. That's so what's that one? Powering. Let's just uh, chuck another one in. Cause I think, yeah. No I should no I can actually just let's cancel that. Let me just put this wire into play for there. Hang on. Cancel that as well. I've not actually got those working on anything, so I can just connect that one up and remove the other one, which is perfect. Power. So if that's connected to that, I can just disconnect this one. What do you mean overloaded? Right, okay, you now need to be deconstructed. All that wire come out, all that wire there come out, and we need to deconstruct that as well. So we need to open up for a short spell to do that, as we're also going to need to uh, put our pump in that little corner. Now all that chlorine's escaping, which is not ideal. Um, But hey ho, that's my error. Auto, please. There we go. But now everything should drop down here without any problems. If anyone's actually going to come and do this for me. Alright, let's stop watching. You know what they say about a watch pot and all. Right, okay. Aha, priority. Let's just uh, increase those priority deconstruct buildings. No, nine. So let's get rid of those. Excellent. So what's that looking like on decor? Yeah. That looks absolutely grand. So how's our oxygen? That's our water. I want our gas. So we've got a little bit of oxygen working its way out. That's slowly coming back in. That is just dealing with polluted oxygen, which is fine. One or two little blobs. Okay, it's interesting they've not finished this yet, seeing as that was priority nine. Mind you, no sweeper comes before build. Okay, right, that explains it. So that should that yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. We'll just need to. I think what the best way to do it is probably to get uh, the pumps here directly connected to this system here. Um, hmm, actually. Actually, no. I could probably do with separating oxygen out. And if I want chlorine to go up, 
I want carbon dioxide somewhere else. Because that should only ever be down here. So I'll have to filter those two. So if I filter out... Uh, if I filter out chlorine and chuck that straight into this section here. Then... Because it, it'll have two, two options here. It'll do two things. It will give us... Um, the chlorine can go in that top corner. We want our gas over there. But I don't want to overrun this system here because this is at max already so that's going to be at max as well so mind you that should balance itself out in time and recirc more oxygen back through here like it is now okay hey, well let's just see what goes on how long it oh we've got someone there sorry there we go, pod. Who are we going to bring into the dupe as a dupe now? Uh, so, ugly cryer, binge to ugly cryer, minus two foods, which is fine. Decor is not too much of an issue. So, mouth breather, right. Can't cook, slow learner. But strong. Mm. Um, minus three learning, but that can be incorrect now thing is that attribute there only I'm sure I oh know skills minus skills as well of course no sorry but I'm not having you guy you in I'm gonna go for Niles but you're not gonna be Niles you are going to be uh, miles don't think I've got miles at the moment so, welcome to the team so we're up to 43 dupes and we have got a long way to go but they've done all this yet let's cancel those I'm not that first right okay so that power system why is that overloading two point four kilowatts have I got Hang on. Oh, you absolute numpty. You've connected it to two different... Oh, you absolute numpty. I did need this one up here. So let's do that. Because we've got... Trip you there so you can reach all that. Try not to put the wrong tile in. Right, so I'm going to deconstruct what made them deconstruct. I'm going to take out deconstruct wires. I want to see what's going on here. And that can deconstruct as well. Right, so we're going to put in a wire bridge. Yep. Yeah. Hang on, what's, what's that? Hang on. Deconstruct that. No, I want the What's behind there? Okay, so that's... Right, let's do that. That's there. Then we now chuck a... Rotate, please. There we go. Put that in. There. We should be fine now. Yeah, that should be fine. Let's get all this done quickly um, anything down here that needs to be cancelled let's get rid of all that oops that so they concentrate on this because I don't want food going off 
I mean, I've only got 130,000 calories, so that won't last that long, which is fine. I want them to do this first. So what happens when you hide wire bridges and things, you can't necessarily see everything. That's a quick glance. Come on, guys, come on. Let's get this done. Come on. It's that wire bridge nine as well. No, it's not. Why is that wire bridge not nine? So what's that powering, or what is that not being powered currently? Okay, so we've got a lot of oxygen production that's not working, and do you know what? We can deconstruct these now. Deconstruct. We don't need those in there at all. So we can also take out the power that's going to it. So it kind of simplifies what we're doing. Okay, so that looks a little neater and tidier. Still got that one piece to do. Come on. Come on, let's get the one piece done. Excellent. So that's all powered back up again after my little boo boo. Let's deconstruct that wire and get rid of it as well. And. Right, okay. That's fine. Right. So that's kind of uh, where we need it to be. So we've now got the space here for our pump. Um, I'm going to lock this door. I don't just need to do it. Door. Door. There we go. Lock. And we can build our pump in this corner. Let's chuck it here. Yeah, I think I'm going to chuck it there because I'm deconstruct. Oops, building, please. Now, I won't deconstruct all of them until I've actually finished building it. That would be kind of useful. Uh, we're going to need power to that pump. So what is that currently working on? 1.3900. Great, I haven't got enough power here for that pump. <sighs> Reet, let's, uh, let's chuck in another one. Sometimes this starts lagging. It does my head in. Right, that's there. And push that in. And we've got another tube, so let's get those made. While we go and see who we can invite to our party. Alright, so we have got uh, Scaredy Cats, Yokel can't cook right okay so nothing that's we can't live with uh, we've got no noisy sleepers which is good we've got minus two across the board for food quality and these two guys have only a decor level of 10 now Turner you're very athletic and you're strong which means you'll be great at carrying stuff and I kind of want that I'm gonna go for oops No, that's not how you spell it. Uh, I actually go for Evans. There we go. So Evans, you're in. So what's now going on here? So that power there, I'm going to have to do a, where are you? Wire bridge. One, two. Take it down. Alright, so that's that power for there. Because we're also going to need some filter filters on here, so as soon as it comes out, we're going to need to filter some of the uh, content straight out. Um, plumbing, that's what I'm looking for, you numpty. Right. Gas filter. Right, where can we pop you? Pop you there. 
Alright, popping it above here. Yeah, we are. So, kind of tooth. Hmm. Right, it's going to pull out oxygen. It's going to pull out um, carbon dioxide. Right, let me think about this. I'm just going to put a little gas fence over here for the time being. But no. Because what I'm going to do to start with is just. Yeah, I'm just going to have the chlorine come out and deal with that, I think. Yeah, I think it'll do it that to start with. Let's pop another uh, power over here. In preparation. So if I can get them to actually build all this lot up and put the wires in so that Oh, you absolute numpty, that's doing that. So we want wire bridges over all of these. I can't do that one now. Alright. I think I'm going to put another one here. And have that connected up. directly to there and then that one can be the powering force for that little circuit and then I've only got one wire for it to jump over which is fine not very aesthetically uh, pleasing but you know what it'll do for the time being right chlorine is going to be coming out which is fine and it's not going to go anywhere which is fine um, Right, so what have we got going on? Those guys are busy cooking, which means they haven't got any other jobs to get on with. So I could do, let me just pause this for a moment. I could do with getting these morbs down here. So I'm going to deconstruct that because I don't want anything down here. They can do two, so kind of need. They can't do ladders though. That's the point. They can't do ladders. So if I do that, prioritize all that, then they can. When they get down here, they'll they'll stay down here. Deconstruct. Cool. And I'll pop my storage compactor down here. And that will have all my chlorine in it instead of this one down here. So does that have any chlorine in? That one, right. It's got 900 kilos of chlorine. Let's deconstruct you. And then we'll pop all our chlorine into this one here because this is where I'm going to actually capture a morb. And he is going to stay put. And that can be dug out. No, nine, please. Right, okay, so let's take that out. So I want to do two things. Actually, I kind of want um, these guys to work their way up. To release these little gu little guys in such a way that I don't lose them. So he's going to have to fall down here. So he this is going to have to. Yeah, going to have to do something here. Quite, quite good. Either build that up or yeah, I'm going to have to do something. Let's dig out there as a starting block. Which will hopefully encourage the mob then to just bounce around on the other side of the area, which will be good. Right, all right, let's uh, leave them doing that and let's just quickly make sure everything is up and running 
as we'd like it. Go on to the right filter. So we've got... Alright, so it's now pulling out oxygen. So it'll now start recirculating cold oxygen inside the base. Now look at that. That's worked beautifully. It's looking lovely. Now I've still got some areas here which are not being caught up. Hmm. Do I have a problem where I need to sweep? So let's just sweep the whole lot. And nope, nothing there. Okay, so there's bits here that we need to sort out. Nope. Okay, so that's fine. We can deal with that shortly. Now, as it's going to start recirculating its own oxygen, what I could do with doing now is uh, stopping some of these from operating. So that one's the one that's actually going in. So I've got two pumps. All I need to do is, without going into the environment, is just basically disable the filter. So if I just disable one to start with, we'll see how that affects the amount of oxygen going through here. Oh, hang on, carbon dioxide is coming in. That's interesting. How is it picking up carbon dioxide when that's supposed to be heavy? Okay. Grief. That's only one block. It's not a problem. Right. Okay. So we get this done as well, but prioritized. And then we can deal with that properly. Right, okay, I think uh, that has been kind of successful so far. Um, we need to make a few changes. Um, I think that uh, we need to upgrade the gas pipes that go into the base to be insulated, um, as we have here, um, so that this whole cooling system keeps maintains the temperature cool, because as soon as it stagnates in the pipe, I believe it starts warming up, which will not be a good thing, especially if these get overpressurized. All right, we'll keep an eye on that. But we'll call it a day for this episode. We've now it's a 44 dupes. We've got six more to hit our first target of 50, um, and we are going for that magical 100 dupes before the end of this series. So if you've in, liked what you've what you've seen, hit the subscribe. Give us a thumbs up uh, or etc. Or even give me your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching and that's Murphy out.